Honestly, we've been waiting a while for this bop of a comparison. But considering the wait times for both of these cars, while you're waiting for your deliveries, it's still a great time to do this. And no guesses for why you should be waiting till the end of this video. Now it's time to zip, zap, now it's time to zoom. So starting things off with the Scorpio N. At 60 kmph, you'll notice there's a slight mid-corner dip as ESP kicks in, but it still holds a tight line and clears that first cone with room to spare. At 65 kmph, that mid-corner dip is a lot more pronounced. It starts to run wide and just as it hits that cone, I hit the brakes as well to keep it from running wider still. Two cones killed with this run. With the XUV700 at 60 kmph and at 65 kmph, it stays quite neat through that corner. Very little understeer and it felt stable behind the wheel as well. But at 70 kmph, things are a lot different. It starts to run wide, it's a handful behind the wheel and it clips that last cone. It still wins this test though because it managed to clear that corner quicker than the Scorpio ended. The XU700 and the Scorpio N diesels both feature the same Gen 2 M-Hawk engine, but with different tunes. So the Scorpio makes 175 PS, while the XUV700 makes 185 PS. It's no surprise that the XUV700 performs better, but it's still very close, especially in the roll-on figures. In the braking department, the XUV with its monocoque chassis was always going to perform better, and that's just how this test turned out but the XV700 actually stopped at an exceptional 37 meters from 100 kmph. With the wet conditions making a mess of our rough road patch, we decided that today, well, we'll just have a splash test. Which of the cars do you think made the better splash? Let us know in the comment section and give this video a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to see more content like this. In terms of how they ride, again, there were no surprises. The XV700 is more comfortable both on the road and even when we ventured off it a little bit. It offered better bump absorption and a quieter cabin. The Scorpio N on the other hand is more supportive and protective over really rough terrain. It will take bigger hits where the XV700 suspension would have bottomed out. This makes it more rough road ready but not as comfortable as the XV700. These two siblings aren't really competitors but they are closely priced. This test wasn't really to show you which one is better than the other, but we hope in some way it helps you make your decision easier in one way or the other, or if you've already made your decision, then you can rest happy with that decision until you get your delivery. The XUV then turns and rides just a little bit better than the Scorpio N. It's the one you should pick if you're looking for a more urban ride. The Scorpio N manages to keep the XUV700 in its sight most of the time. And if you are the more outdoorsy types who needs an SUV more than merely desires one, then the Scorpio N may serve you better. And now as promised, your bonus run. But wait, yeah, let's roll. Yeah. That was 70 kmph. Wow. Impressive. 